Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone. We're in our previous episode, our adventure, so we're beginning to try to save the prisoners inside the depths. They fought and killed one Tridana, and they noticed that two, at least two Ruddick, and if not all ten, have now seen the crew members. And they're just trying to decide what to do next to save everyone here. And we talked about the rock. The first thing I do is I call over H.P. Lovecraft, the wolf that we did not forget about, <laughs> and I tell him to come back to my side, because no one forgot about him. No, he's definitely been there the entire Star time. Yeah. Like, you didn't remember You didn't remember him howling when, like, you guys met with Alcaro, or him sneaking, him wearing a disguise sneaking through the small gnome city, <laughs> and of that stuff. Yeah, Stockholm <laughs> was there, he was there, didn't forget you're a bad owner if you don't remember any of that. <laughs> He's a party animal. Everyone, no one forgot about him. Man. The point is, Lovecraft is with me. Jack and Sam are I'm okay. Lovecraft's still in the game. Peace. <laughs> <Pete. laughs> uh, so, what would Everett like to do right now? Like, how are you hoping to continue on? All right. Well, first things first. I'll give back. Uh, What's his last? Alcaro. Alcaro. Yeah. The sword. Okay. That I was holding for him. We kind of gave up on saving people. We're just going to kill everyone first. So. Should not do that. Fire well, no, we have no choice now. Well, we can open a portal and start ushering people. Yeah, we're still not fully known. Yeah, only a few runner can have seen you. Oh. Yeah. Because there was one arrow, one fireball go. shot. Yeah. <laughs> and a guy, <laughs> cool. and a guy died, but. Alright, well, I will. Freaking rush the American. Okay, I guess we're going in. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, I'll distract them while well, you guys usher people up. Which is what I was uh, going to do with that Chardana, but then I almost came back and started fighting anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'll freaking so you're helping the people, you're yeah. rushing the Rudder, and what are the rest of you guys doing? I press the button. Okay. And it's all like bomb goes off. <laughs> are we anywhere near anybody yet? But if I, if I have it up here, I can guard the. I can guard the portal. Yeah, but then I need to get people up here. Since it's right by you, you should go through first. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I but leave the stone. I'm taking it with me. What if it closes and then you're on the other side? But I can just press it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we don't know if it'll open up in the... I thought we said sure. you could only use it to it, it. It'll still open up somewhere in, area, in yeah. this area or in here. But it, we don't know if it'll open up right where he yeah. closed it. Yeah, Probably most likely wouldn't. So leave the stone. Don't leave be so attached stone. to the stone. Why do you want the stone? So I don't know. I just know it's going to be it good. malfunctions if you put the We're not going to take it from you, Tony. When we're all done, you can have the stone back. You can keep it on your person. We're back. not trying to steal it. <laughs> steal it. He just really needs all six of them. <laughs> <laughs> a snap of his fingers. <laughs> Due time. Um, what did it cost? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, so I guess I guess I'll wait before I press the button, okay. and I'm, I'll go down to kind of the lowest point, I guess. If we're, I'll, I'll fall fair, and, and we'll rush in, I guess. <laughs> You're going in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll clump along behind. Okay. You need, like, a trombone to go off, you know? Wait, mm-hmm. I think, what are you doing? He's yeah. rushing the rudder. Okay. Okay. Two rudder. Back and forth. Yeah. I can take two rudders. Well, as he rushes one, I'll rush the other. Cool. Okay. No, actually, I said rushing. Then, but I'm still like seventy feet away, one, right? Yeah, you'd be about, about seventy feet away. Sharon's uh, <laughs> you would be probably around forty feet away from the first Roger Rod- Rod- King. Walk 40 feet then probably seventy feet away from the next one, and Alcar will come with the two of you. Okay. Wait. Awesome. How far away? You, how far away is he from the second one? Uh, he, he's from the first one. I'm seventy. Yeah. From the second one, probably around 100 feet. Because I can dash, <laughs> and I can reach the second one easy. And then you can take the close one. Yeah, I was just going to move up 30 feet and then shoot him. Okay. Yeah, I'll dash for the next one to, get, to begin combat with him. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, of the two two of you roll initiative. We, we don't keep the one from you, before. That's fine, I'll roll you. I like my Well, the thing is that, uh, that was Ryan and Ailer and aren't in that initiative anymore. I just, I liked my 18s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think sounds like it's gonna go through the freaking table. <laughs> like, you're just gonna roll it, you go, <laughs> uh, Okay, yeah, so, 8. 8? I got a 23. 23. I kinda liked my 18, but that's... The highest I can get. <laughs> Didn't you... What, what did you roll? No, 20. 20. But isn't that... Nah, plus 3. 
Yeah, but the nat 20, nat 20 doesn't mean anything. Nat 20 doesn't mean anything for initiative. For initiative, it's, just it's not going to beat anything. Uh, it just means you get the highest possible initiative you can. Okay, so I'll... I'll start with the initiative, and then I'll go back to everyone else. Not an initiative, go to your initiative, and so forth and so on. So, first is Lazarus. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat my 23. I didn't say it for that. Okay. I don't know what you're saying okay for. No, what like, okay, let's do it. Like, okay. okay. Wow, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I'll run up 30 feet towards the closest, uh, where was it? Vatican? And then I'll attempt to shoot him with my longbow. Give him a big hug. Okay. I understand you. That's a 14. You hit. Nice. That'll be... What's my dex is... 10. 10. Okay. Okay, then the one that just you hit is gonna go... Uh, that one is close to Blaze. He will use... Uh, he's gonna attempt to bite... Like, attempt to bite you, Blaze. Just tell him no. He got a 22. I don't consent. I only rolled a 6. Uh, no, I didn't roll anything. I see 16. <laughs> uh, you'll take 17 piercing damage. Damn. And you will have to do a constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah. The there constitution? Yep. Yeah. You have to beat a 13. Saving throw? Yep. Yeah. 2 plus 0. 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 1 is 3. Quick. 17. Okay. You see, skin. Bitch! <laughs> uh, and next will be Alcaro. He's gonna... He should have been right here, please. He's probably not close enough to attack. Uh, he's just gonna throw a dagger at one close to the one that just bit you. Uh, he succeeds. He got a dirty 20. Nice. Yo! My boy. Can you even see that far? <laughs> uh, that is 5 damage. This is a savage tone. Yeah. And then it is Blaze. Blaze? Okay, getting bit kind of pissed me off, so <laughs> I'm going to spend two key points and I'm going to use Fist of the Broken Air. Okay, so what exactly does that do again? Oh, I create a blast of compressed air that strikes me on my fist. As an action, I spend two key points and choose a creature within 30 feet. They have to make a strength saving throw. Okay. You got a 16. Okay, that, that beats it. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Takes a uh, fail save, takes 3d10 plus an extra 1d10, and there's 20 things. half as much damage. So I don't push it, but he still takes half 3d10. 6. Oh wow, 2 1s, are you freaking kidding me? 8, so he takes 4 damage. Okay. And then. Uh, Big hits. That was an action, so I'm gonna spend another key point to use Flurry of Blows so I can uh, do 2 arm strikes. Okay. Okay, so I rolled 17 and a 25. Yeah, both hit. So five and three, so eight total. He's looking pretty badly injured at this point. These guys are pushovers. <laughs> I don't know, he just took away like half my health. And then <laughs> yeah. this next Radican is just going to dash to be able to get to where you guys are right now. And that's his turn. Uh, so I'll go back to what you guys are doing at this point. Jump into the pit. The pit? Yeah, it's pit. Oh, yeah, Ryan yeah. kills himself. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. the main center pit is pretty deep, so there are ladders all around to get, yeah, get down. I'm there. gonna... No. I'm gonna slide down a ladder. Oh. Okay. Cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, like, in, you know, like, have my hands supposed to go, shh. <laughs> are they wooden ladders? They are, yeah. Are they sturdy wooden ladders? Yes, Mark, Duncan, stop yeah. asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You're gonna give him ideas. Oh, no. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, whatever. So, so there's three levels here, yeah. and there's prisoners on this level and this level. Yeah. Okay. And a few just <clears throat> around here, just taking like rocks or other supplies from one area to the next. Okay. Or like dropping down supplies, bringing them back up, stuff like that. So this is about, I think before I said it was about 30 feet down, and down here would be about 70 feet below that. Okay. And the guards are up top, and here, and here? Uh, the Rudderkin, there there are uh, five Rudderkin here, five here, mm -hmm. and then the Bulgura is here, and there are two Shardana here and here. Okay. So let's have everybody follow us into the pit, open the portal, send as many people through as we can. 
Put the, the no, float that, like, like flat at okay. the bottom of the pit and just tell them to jump and it'll fall <laughs> through the screen. Yeah. And then keep up the velocity like a portal game. And but then, yeah, like a portal stuff. game, but they, they'll be close to the ground and then they'll hit like soft grass and then slowly pile I'll up. just tell them to get into groups and I'll press the button and then hopefully the portal appears below them and I'll just fall through. <laughs> I think we, I think that's a terrible idea. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I slide <laughs> on the ladder. Uh, just hit the second... Are you or the third? I'm gonna go to the pit. The very bottom? Yeah. Okay. That's where I'm going. Yeah, let's sure. go fair. I'm we'll, going to hell! We'll yell to all the prisoners to follow us. Okay. Why that's what we're here for. Why wouldn't they trust us, right? So as you go down to this level, you do notice that three Rodigan, one here, here, or wherever you are, uh, I'd say probably here. Here and here, I've noticed you, and they're starting to run towards you guys. Not a problem. And then, are you guys just continuing to the next ladder? Going down? Or fight them. Kill me thing, or do you think we should just go down and then fight with the men? Well, no, let's run to the edge of the pit and then throw them off. That's a good idea. Cool, let's do it. Alright. Cool. So, um, yeah, we'll usher people down the ladder. And, like, yeah, then we'll wait for the Rodokin to reach us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're able to get a few of the prisoners down the ladder and start to climb, and then the Rudderkin are on you guys. Sure. So I'll have you guys roll initiative. Ooh, Willy. <laughs> Fourteen. Ah, that's a three. Big rolls. Yeah. It's a nat 15 plus two sets. Uh, you. What did you get, Duncan? Fourteen. Fourteen. It's fashion. Seventeen. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> So I will start at the beginning of initiative again. So, uh, Lazarus. So I'll just go through this entire... Oh, yeah. Cool. So that guy dashed away from me, right? Uh, he was dashing towards where Blaze is. Why was he dashing? Because he was here. The, like, the, the first guy was here, the second guy was here, so he would be running towards where you are. Oh, because I dashed over as far as... Yeah, yeah. so he's dashing towards you. Um, yeah. The first one, not like the second one, the is running that towards you. Guys. The guy that the guy that was furthest away you. was running towards you. So I'll just run another thirty feet towards him. I'm coming on within melee range, so I'll just shoot him again. The closest one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dope. That's an eight. That misses. Uh, was there anything else you want to do with the turn? No, that's all I can do. Okay. Uh, so next will be, uh, Roderick number one. He's going to. Uh, he sees that you have entered the fray, so he's going to attack you. He's going to run the rest of the distance, which is about another 20 feet, I think, and then attack you. Uh, he got a 13. Is that it? Nope. Okay, he tries to touch you really creepily, and he misses. What? <laughs> I don't know. Stranger danger. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, and next is uh, Roderick number 3, so he'll attack... Uh, Let's see, tax Ryan. Bring it. Uh, he missed. Cool. And then it's to Sen. Oh, hey. Uh, or sorry, Farron. I'm going to firebolt the ones by Ryan. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, 13. 13? That okay. hits. Wow. Nice. Congratulations. And it's Congratulations. seven fire you damage. You won. Seven fire damage. 70 points. Uh, so he'll take four damage. <laughs> okay. Then one of the Rudderkins can attack you. He cannot. <laughs> he can. He cannot. Not in that 20. Me! So he's using, he his, he can. he's using his touch on you. Uh, you'll take 18... 28 piercing damage. Yeah, or sorry, no, it's not touch, it's bite. I don't know where I saw touch. Oh. Yeah, it's just weird. To yeah. yeah, some pervy guards. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these sexy invaders. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody got Xanathar's guide handy? I've yeah. got him in the living room. Right okay. uh, next, it is Ryan. Oh, cool. oh, you it is your trigger. The Ryan. Oh, because Temper uh, Forge Domain is in there. Why was that on top of the fridge? Because you never know you're going to need it. Place, I, can put it. <laughs> I just keep it in the freezer, you know, so it stays cool. Thanks. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. chill. Okay. Chill. So how close are we to the edge of the pit? Uh, probably about five, ten feet away. I'm not that strong, but I guess I'll try grappling one of them so I can try and drag him and throw him over the edge. Okay. This is a strength check, right? Yeah, strength check against his strength. 
That's a 13. That's a ding. Ding. He's just slightly stronger than you. Is that all you're doing at the turn? Uh, I don't have anything else I can do. So, yes. Okay. Next is uh, Karo. He'll just uh, run up to the closest Radikin and attack him with his Lonsard. That hits. Uh, he kills the Radikin with his uh, Demon Spain or Shadow. Or. Demon Spain? Yeah, Demon Spain. Nice. Yeah, sword. I'm <laughs> getting that sword. <laughs> and then it is back to Blaze. Yeah. Okay, so did he kill the one that bit me? Yeah. <laughs> so the closest one is not far away then, because that's the one that was shooting. Yeah, it'll be about uh, 20 feet away now. I agree, should Yeah. Um, I'll go after it with my two daggers. So, uh, 12. Uh, and 18. That hits. And 18. Yeah. We'll hit. 5 plus dex is 9. Yeah, so 11. 11. And then I'll spend my last key point to do two unarmed strikes. Okay. Uh, 17 and 9. 17 hits. 17 hits. 4. 4? Okay. Yeah. Nine. Out of key points. Just get some more now. It's the key to victory. But yeah, no, I, I like, rush up and I like stab him in like the shoulders and then I let go and I punch him in the face and then I, I grab my daggers. Okay. That's like my move. Uh, next Sick. is another Rudderkin. It'll attack. Lazarus. I mean, Aileron Elf, sorry. Oh. I like to see him try. You got a... Natural. No. 30, 20. <laughs> oh, really? Do it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he can. I guess I will allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I let him hit me. Uh, that was just nine piercing damage. For flavor. <laughs> yeah. For the experience. And he's just biting you. Oh, so, uh, please do a constitution check. I should have had whoever was bitten before do a constitution check. You did have me do it. Okay, I thought someone else. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, damn. You have, you have beat a 13. Constitution okay. saving throw. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's no saving throws. I was like, where am I looking? Okay. Alright, alright. That's an 18. That's okay, you succeed. Pretty good, man. What would have happened if I would have failed? I don't know. Maybe you'll find out. Uh, I don't think... I think I'm good. I'm okay. next. Uh, it's uh, your turn now, Aileron Oh, screw that guy. Um, I'm going to grapple him and try to to- pull him over and toss him off. Okay. So just do a strength check. I'll do a strength check. Two. 13. 18. Nice. Um, 17. Okay, well. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to use... Uh, a bonus action, use regeneration, which is an ability reference mm-hmm. have, which I totally remembered. <laughs> um, so I just roll. Oh, should I roll initiative for Lovecraft, who we did not also forget about again? <laughs> uh, I'll roll. Um, but that just means I rolled uh, a d10, and then I can use some hit points. Not forgetting about him. And I can just use it. Yeah, it's not yeah, my yeah, pet. I can use it freely. So broken. So, uh, so, was... so Lovecraft ha- yeah. had a bit of difficulty just keeping up with you. You're super fast for some reason. He, he was like taking a piss or something while you were running through. <laughs> he's like, looks back and he's like, oh no, where are they? And then they, he sees you, so he starts running, so you'll enter in the next round of combat. Because I definitely didn't forget him. Lovecraft joins the battle. <laughs> what a dumb dog. If I tell him the Digivolve, will he turn into a Dire Wolf? No. Damn it. That would awesome. Dumb dog? Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, next is the oh. the Rudderkin that's oh. near you. Uh, he's about... going to attack you again. Beast Snake? No, no. intimidating no. enough. Uh, what about Beast Snake? What You're intimidating enough that, okay. to make him miss. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then yeah. it is back up to Lazarus. Okay, so the guy is running on me, right? Since he's yeah. tried attacking me. I'll take up my two long swords and slash him up. Okay. It's a 17 and a 9. 17 uh, hits. Seven. 7. Some damage? Okay. Yeah. Okay, he's looking a bit bloodied, and like some his skin is starting to just be like clumped off and like hit off in clumps and stuff when you hit him. Okay. Uh, is that your turn or is there anything else? That's all I can do. Uh, next will be uh, Rodikin number 3. Uh, it'll attack uh, Farron again. Oh. With a spike. And he misses. Yeah, I knew it. 
by quite a lot. Uh, so with the next fair. Cast Ray of Frost. Okay. And, oh. Total <laughs> of uh, 11. Yeah, 11 that, cold. That 11. just barely misses. Oh, good. Damn, dude. <laughs> uh, then okay. now the Rodrican will go. It'll go for uh, Ryan. Okay. He misses. And then it is Ryan. No, uh, Farron. No, Farron just went. Uh, it is Ryan, sir. It's me. Okay, I'm gonna cast command on one of the Rudderkins. Okay. And I'm gonna command him to climb to make him climb down the ladder. Is that what kind of magic is command? Mm. That is a good question. Command it's really enchantment good. for a level enchantment. Is it like vocative? Like vocal, or is like it the, is it like a charm, charmed type thing, or is it's, it? It's a wisdom save. It doesn't say it's charm, verbal component. Oh, it's just, it's not charm. It's just yeah, enchantment. enchantment. Okay, okay, fair enough. So, so wisdom save, wisdom save DC fifteen, failed. Yes, I'm gonna make him climb down the ladder. Why? Always climb. So then he's on the ladder. We can just drop a hammer on his face and he'll fall. Why don't you just command and try to climb down the side where the ladder isn't? Why don't you just tell him? Well, I just said climb, so <laughs> DM decides how it happens. <laughs> yeah, decides so he, to not climb the ladder, he climbs the wall up. <laughs> because there is a ladder nearby, he is going to climb down the ladder. Yeah. Okay. I messed this up. I didn't mess it up. We guys we just got him out of the fight. Is that the one that just attacked you, that you're commanding it to do? Yeah. You should have commanded him to come to you, and then you could have just thrown him off easily. Except, I think as soon as we try to attack it, it fades. But I mean, if you grab him, you're not attacking him. It's like if, a, if you give it's him a, a good action, he could say think... trust fall. Trust <laughs> that would fall. Has to be one word. So. <laughs> trust fall is one word. There's no space. Okay. Okay. I think. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you. I swear. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, uh, next is Lovecraft. Who? Or was there anything else you wanted to do on this turn? No. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. Okay, so next is Lovecraft, who has been here this entire time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's just gonna pounce at the one that's attacking you. Good boy. Uh, he hits. Uh, do you have the stats for a wolf? Uh, no, but I have my monster manual not here. Okay, I can just look at that. Either a d4 or d6. You'll have advantage on this attack. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. He misses. Did you give him advantage? I did. He got a two under four. That sucks. Yeah. At least he tried. I thought you said he did. First time. No. Oh. That was his first attack, and he missed. Oh. I thought I heard you say he did. Uh, never mind. Uh, next is Alcaro. So he'll just attack the one that's attacking you too. Do I just see a dog, like... Go flailing by me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> run him up. He's like so ready to pounce, and then just like, Whoa! like right by me. All ears, Goofy's voice. Whoa! And Alcaro is going to take a swing at this Rudderkin, and he swings so hard, and he misses, and he just keeps spinning around and around like two or three times, and then falls dizzy on the ground prone. Uh, next is Blaze. Uh. I'll finish off the one that uh, Lovecraft totally missed, uh, or at least I'll try to finish him off. I mean. So I'm gonna hit him with uh, my two daggers again. What? Two fours? I missed. Okay. Two tens. Plus okay. Eights. No, that misses. Okay. Uh, next yeah. will be uh, Aelrenal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to grapple that guy again and give him a good old chuck. Okay. Chuck him on top of the one who's coming down the ladder. Yes. Genius. That's what I will do. And then knock off all the slaves who are climbing down the ladder, too. <laughs> I mean, we've already oh, killed one of them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, you're going to that one. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no. You fall down the ladder. On top he, of the he only got, like, a uh, 10 on uh, his, so nothing extra bad happens. Okay. You just are unable to grapple him. That's cool. That's That works with me. Uh, I'm going to use... Another one of my hit die and try to rejuvenate some some health here. Okay. Uh, the next will be the rudder can you just attack. It's going to attempt to fight you, but misses. Then it is the one that Blaze is fighting. He's going to attack Alcaro since he's on the ground. Vanish. And he's old. Uh, that misses. Did just I? barely. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Oh my. 
Uh, I rolled a one last time. Oh no! So that's technically three ones in a row. Uh, it's back to Lazarus. You couldn't have just let me. Miss. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's fair. <sighs> He's still alive. Yeah. The Vatican in front of me, right? And can you and Blaze roll perception checks, please? I got an eight. Perception. Yeah. Twenty. Dirty twenty. So, Blaze, you see that three mo- the three other Rudikin that are on this level are now starting to run your way. They are very far away, like they're on the opposite side of the pit, so here, yeah. here, and around here. But they are charging towards you guys. And how many people have gone through the portal? I no, don't think we were going to set it up down there, but we were getting in this fight. Talking's a free action, so I'm going to yell, Open the portal! <laughs> we're kind of running out of, like... Free time to decide what happens. Yeah. Might as well just open it up now. Fuck it. So they're all going down to the pit down below. We're not up down there. I'll just slash this guy in front of me. Okay. Pit where a big giant gorilla demon dude is. What are you, what are you saying, Gage? Nothing. I think we can fight him. There's like, a bunch uh, of people down there anyway. We have to do something. 21 and a 13. Both hit. Worst case scenario, demon goes through the portal too, and then we go in behind him. Seven the and closes. nine. We have a whole mob of slaves. How would you like to kill him? Good job, Zach. I don't know. I just do a big X across the chest. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and then you say something cool after, like X marks the spot. Or, uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I'll still do that. Is that a JoJo bet? No. <laughs> no, you'll know it when it happens. <laughs> oh, okay. To be continued. <laughs> Was there anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, I'll move 30 feet towards... How far away is the next level? Uh, There'd be a ladder probably around 30 feet away. Yeah, I'll just move up to the ladder. Okay. Next is one of the Rudderkins. It's the one that's in Tony, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, I think so. Mm. So it's going to attempt to bite you again. I got a dirty 20. You'll just take 10 damage. And please roll a constitution saving throw. You have to be a 13. I know what I have to do. That's a 13. Okay, you succeed. <laughs> you start to feel something like coursing through your veins and then just a minute later it just disperses. You don't feel it anymore. Bro, man. As if your undeadness just... Pushed it out of you. Nice. Oh man, you're more alive. Cut it close. Maybe I'm. Maybe yeah. uh, Farron. You're next. Okay. Um, still two up, or is there just one? Uh, all three are. Uh, one is climbing down the ladder, and the other two are still with you guys. And then there's three on the way. Cool. Or two more on the way. Because they're on the second level, you're still on the first level. The three on the way are. To okay. us. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost then. Um, I'm the closest one too. Okay. How deep is a deep pit? Did you say 60 feet? About, about 70 feet down. Oh. Yeah. So what do you roll? One. Uh, you cast your Ray of Frost and it goes straight where, he, where the Rodderkin was, where he was, but he ended up going to the right like five seconds before you actually. Attempted to hit it, and it hits a, or and it goes towards a uh, prisoner. You need that stop. <laughs> and roll a perception check, please. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Oh, that was, that was nice and high. Um, that's a net seventeen plus uh, two, so nineteen. You recognize this prisoner. Oh, this is the same gnome that saved you. Early way back on. No! <laughs> oh my god! And you see the Ray of Frost just barely hit him and just like it hits his hand and he just can't move his hand anymore and it's just frozen. And now it's... all you gotta do is break the ice. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Bad seeing you here. I don't feel very good. Um, <laughs> no, that's all I can do. Turn your head and get to Peter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next will be the other 
the rudder, wait, the rudder can, that's going down the ladder, so he's just going to continue walking, climbing down. So he'd be probably around 30 feet down now. So, um, that doesn't come into effect until his next turn after I cast it, so he wouldn't start doing it until, like, the turn. Oh, the turn, okay. So. Uh, so he would be probably about, about 15 feet down then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. So he's 15, 15 feet down, but how much is below him from there? Uh, like below him would be fi- around 55 feet. Ah, cool. uh, okay. okay. So I could probably kill him. Yeah, probably. Yeah, alright. Uh, so next is Ryan. Okay, I'm gonna follow him to the ladder. Okay. And climb onto the ladder and then slide down it. And double boot gauntlet kick him into the face Yo. to try and knock him off. So Yo. Yeah, and I'm a heavy little dwarf. And so then dexterous. just leave me up there. <laughs> yeah. Fair. You guys can handle one dude. Uh, I'll say that you're able to do that without, <laughs> yeah, without even rolling. You're able to do that, but I'll have you roll uh, d4 for damage just from your kick. Yo. Oh <laughs> you and I are doing so we're high. Screwed, That's a man. one. <laughs> you and I are doing so hot, man. No, we're not. We're doomed. You and one or combined HP. So it's 1d6 per 10 feet, right? Yeah. Uh, he takes 16 damage. But he is still alive. No, man, on top of him. Just jump off the ladder and like... <laughs> no. Just like... Like wrestle. Elbow, elbow oh, drop him. Elbow yeah. drop him. Nice. Do it. Do RKO. Uh, is there anything else you want to do at the end? Watch out, watch out! You would like to take a bonus action. Uh, RKO. Uh, are you climbing back up or like in the Okay, out of nowhere. So I'm 15 feet down right now? Yeah. And that's probably most of my movement to get there. So, like, how far back up do you think I can get? Because I have 25 movement speed. Uh, you could probably only climb another 5 feet. 5 feet, okay. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just start heading down. Okay. Because I have complete faith in Aileron, Dell, and Farron. Mm. <laughs> 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 Uh, so next is Lovecraft. Uh, Lovecraft is going to kind of look at you, Blaze, to try to see what you want him to do. Run away. I'll just let you deal with Lovecraft. Okay. He is actually yeah. my bet now, I yeah. guess. Uh, You're the one who wanted him. Yeah. Well, yeah. who doesn't want a fucking wolf on the team, right? Come on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there is the two coming towards us, right? Yeah. Uh, three. Okay, three coming towards us. Uh... I'll send Lovecraft after one of them. Like the 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 one here coming like closest, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh he wouldn't be able to get to him quite yet. He wouldn't be able to get to him? No. Never mind, I'll have him stay by my side then. We'll okay. save his turn. Because there's nothing right beside us he can no. Yeah. I'll tell him to just stay. Okay. I'd rather not spill out. Uh then is El Alcaro. He'll ask you Would you like me to stay up with you to fight these last three? Or should I go help with them down below? Uh, no! That one kind of almost one-shot me, so if you can stay up here, that'd be super sweet. Sure, sure, sure. We should send the guy with the demon's bane sword to fight the demon down below. Right. Oh. <laughs> He's also old and frail. He's pretty badass. He is, though, actually. He could probably jump down and be fun. But you can go the Superhero landing. <laughs> he does, like, landing. backflips and stuff. No, he'll stay with me. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. He'll stay with you. Uh, Blaze, what would you like to do? We should, uh, we should not try to kill everybody. We should just try to get people out. Yeah, we're kind of getting our asses beat right now. They're how far away? Are no, we can take them all. Uh, they'd probably be about <laughs> eighty feet away, hundred twenty feet away, and hundred fifteen feet away. So I can reach the first one if I if I dash. Just come down to the next level to us. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, I'll lead everyone down. Okay. Yeah. Kayla okay, Carl will come down to you, and Lovecraft, Lovecraft will. Somehow come down the ladder. Okay. <laughs> How far is the drop from our level to the second level? He wants to do some 30 feet, I think. That's only like 18 points of damage max. Yeah. Were you going to try and jump off? No, I was just going to Spartan kick these <laughs> rudder kin that coming at me. Okay. Pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. So you're just coming down? Uh, I think there's anything I can really do aside from that. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, let's see. Yeah, no, I'll just climb down. Okay. Uh, next will be Ailrindal. Ailrindal. All right. Third time is the charm. So I'm going to grapple him and shock him off. Okay. And this time it will work. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's an eight. He got a six. Oh. 
bunch of high rollers over here. <laughs> Alright. So I'm just gonna grab him kind of by the shoulders okay. and like, are we, we're relatively close? Yeah. You'd probably be about 10 feet away from the edge. So I'm able to, am I able to kind of like pull him towards and just kind of like throw him off in that direction? Sure. Yeah. Let me fall Baby off shaky sure. syndrome. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you're able to throw him off, so I'll roll four damage. Okay, and as a bonus action, <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, second wind. So he took 24 damage from the ball. As the healer. I still have um, Lucky Moon Bruise. Ooh, so that might come in handy. Yeah. How long does that last for? Like an hour? An hour. An hour. You're just healing with your bonus action? Yeah, I use okay. second win. Uh, so next is the one that just fell to the ground, and he's just going to get up and uh, see that you guys are coming and be ready to fight. Okay. And we'll continue this fight next time on Nat 20. Oh, bonkers. Jinkies. <laughs>